yes welcome to our channel now we are going to take uh, important uh, branch of mathematics calculus in this cal calculus there are two parts differential calculus integral calculus this is a format of a question paper of cbsc whole mathematics fourth class, class there will be four sections a b c d in section a question number 1 to 4 one mark each therefore these four questions will be of four marks now in part b there will be eight questions from question number 5 to question number 12 each mass of two marks therefore this section will be of 16 marks after that section c it will contain question number 13 to question number 23 of four marks each total number question in this section will be 11 therefore 44 marks now we come to section d it will contain question number 24 to 29 and one of each question will carry six marks and total number of question also six marks there will be 36 marks total marks will be 29 and number of question paper in a, in question paper will be 29 there will be four sections um, now we come to our point we have uh, taken this uh, difference calculus in last video now we are taking integral calculus in integral calculus in our ncrt book second there will be three chapters number one indefinite integration and definite integration there will be two parts in first first chapter after that application of integration it will include area after that differential equations each of them <coughs> Question on indefinite integration will be of six marks. Question on definite integral, that is on theorem, etc., that will be of six marks. Application of integration, that is area, one question of six marks. And differential equations will uh, carry six marks. Therefore, total 24 marks will be for integral calculus. This is very important branch of this. Uh, of our mathematics now <clears throat> we are taking integral calculus what what is integration process of integration is reverse of the differentiation let us say d by dx of sin x equal to cos x we know this very well this can be written like this integration of a cos x dx will be sin x plus c where c is any constant arbitrary constant uh, it may take any value in real number now we are defining integration a function fx is called antiderivative or permutative or integral of the given function fx with respect to x if it d by dx of fx equal to fx or we can say d by dx of fx plus c where c is any constant real constant equal to fx now <clears throat> so there are infinitely many antiderivative of fx because c can take any value in real number therefore there will be many antiderivative of a function fx with the, um, we represent the antiderivative of fx antiderivative of fx by the symbol fx or an fx dx this is symbol of integration and it is equal to fx plus c where c is constant of integration fx is called integrant and this is symbol where c is any constant or we may call this an um, arbitrary constant where c therefore this is called indefinite integral this one now we are taking some uh, example for uh, explaining this part.
पार्ट एक बंद कर दिया ना फिर नेक्स्ट बार दोबारा यस नो वी आर टेकिंग दिस ऑन फार्म वे विच विल बी हेल्पफुल for finding the induction <coughs> yes we know that d by dx of x to the power n plus 1 will be n plus 1 into x we call this power formula we call this power formula <coughs> therefore this can be written as d integration of x to the power n dx will be x to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 this is power formula for differentiation and this is power formula for integration now <coughs> d by dx of a to the power x where is any a real constant a to the power x into log of a f dc this can be written as integration of a to the power x will be a to the power x divided by log of a f dc Plus C is concept of integration. <coughs> Now d by dx of e to the power x equal to e to the power x. Therefore, integration of e to the power x will be e to the power x plus C. Yes, d by dx of log log x and base e one over x. This can be written like this: integration of one over x will be log of x and base e plus C. <coughs> d by dx log of log x at base a one over x into log of a at base e. Therefore, this can be written as its integration will be log of a at log of x at base a plus c. <coughs> Now we take trigonometrical d by dx of sine x that is cos x. This can be written. Integration of cos x equal to sin x plus c. D by dx of cos x. We know that this is equal to minus sin x. Therefore, integration of sin x will be minus cos x plus c. D by dx of tan x sec square x. Therefore, integration of sec square equal to tan x plus c. D by dx of cot x minus cos x square or Integration of cos x square x dx will be equal to minus cot x plus c d by dx of sec x sec x into tan x. Therefore, integration of sec x and tan x can be written as sec x plus c d by dx of cos x equal to minus cos x into cot x. Or integration of cos x into cot x can be written as minus cos x. cos x plus c now we come to inverse function <coughs> d by dx of sin inverse x equal to 1 over under root 1 minus x square therefore integration of under root 1 minus x square will be sin inverse x plus c similarly d by dx of cos x minus 1 over under root 1 minus x square or Minus one over the root one minus x square. <coughs> its integration will be cos inverse x plus c. D by dx of tan inverse x one over one plus x square. Therefore, integration of one plus one x square dx will be tan inverse x plus c. D by dx of cot inverse x minus one over one plus x square or minus This can be written as integration of minus one over one plus x square will be equal to cot inverse x plus c. <coughs> Now d by dx of sec inverse x one over x under root x square minus one, or it can be written as integration of one over x under root x square minus one will be sec inverse x plus c. D by dx cos inverse x. Equal to minus one over x under root x square minus one, or integration of minus one over x under root x square minus one will be cos inverse x plus c. D double formula now formula part in section D. This formula will be very helpful for finding the integration or differentiation. 
if we have under root a square minus a square and we have to remove under root put x equal to a sin theta or a cos theta for this a square plus a square is under root put x equal to a and theta or a cos theta now for this under root x square minus a square put x equal to a sec theta or a cos theta next problem actually ओ कर दिया जो